Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Sovereign Living. Hey, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm meeting up with my buddy, Fish and Y, and we're gonna do a little bit of a bait challenge. I'm gonna go into the grocery store, I'm gonna get some clams and some squid, and we're gonna go downtown, catch the ferry to Governor's Island, and see if we can get lucky. This is Bait Challenge. See you on the other side. Let's go. Everybody, we got a line out, and I am joined by a special guest, Fish in Y. We're out here in Governor's Island, in Y, trying to see if we can get lucky. So we're doing a bit of a bait challenge today. I'm out with the clams. My boy Fish in Y. I got the bloodworms, or actually sandworms, and uh, spearing, frozen spearing. Well, we'll see if that works. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's see if we can get lucky. Another change and another difference is that he's using big hooks too. I got some smaller hooks. I mean, do y'all think that matters? I don't know. Just let me know down in the comments below if you think it matters. You know, I, I think the hookup rate for a smaller fish potentially could be better for mine, but if we catch anything noteworthy, it's definitely gonna be on Fish and Wise Rod. So we'll see. All right, I'll tune you guys back in with the action. All right, I'm gonna go and get some water because it is absolutely hot out here and Fishing Y is gonna watch my line for me. Now, I, I, guys, I'm telling you, if something catches this line while I'm gone, I'm gonna be A, excited that Fishing Y got on. <laughs> it's gonna count for me. Yeah, it's gonna count for you. <laughs> I'm gonna be mad that I missed the catch, but you know what? I'm willing to take that risk, so, all right, let's go check it out. Hey guys, Governor's Island is pretty nice, man. Um, yeah, you should bring your friends, family members out here and enjoy a nice sunny day like this. Hey, bring your fishing line too. All right, aranchada and water. Man, it's hot out here. Let's go get on some fish, y'all. All right, we're almost back to the spot. I'm sure hopeful, man. I'm hopeful he got on something. All right, let's go check in and see. Fishing wild, we got lucky. Did we get lucky? True to word, as what soon as you left. Are you serious? This guy, man. Oh, man, he went off. Nice. All right, hey guys, if you want to catch, if you want to see the catch, you got to tune in to Fish and Watch channel. Right. Nice. What was that? It was a blackfish. A blackfish. Tog. -tog. Tog. Yeah. Wow, guys. Wow. All right. If you want to see the catch live, go tune in to Fish and Watch channel. We took it on the worms, so. Really? Plenty. All right, on the worms, on the worms. All right, we're going to check our line out and we're going to recast. All right, new spot, new spot. You guys have seen the, the nice skyline and the Statue of Liberty. Now it's time to, to get on down to business here. This looks really fishy, guys. I'm gonna do a little pan here in a second, but uh, you know, whenever you can find any type of structure, whenever you're fishing, that's gonna be the most likely place where the fish are gonna be. Uh, when I say structure, it could be rocks, boulders, pilings, even current uh, can be a good telltale sign for where the fish may be holed up. And the way you can kind of think about it is that if you're a fish, you need to be able to find a way to ambush your prey. So, you know, if bait fish are swimming around a rock or the water flows over the rock and there's kind of an ebb there, boom, you know, that's kind of where they want to do the line of attack. So uh, let's see if the strategy works out right now. I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling kind of lucky right now. I'm feeling like we're going to get it done here. So, all right, let's get rigged up and get out there. So right across the river over there is, is a red hook and there's a pier, not sure if you guys can see it, but there's a pier on the red hook side that produces pretty well. Um, on this side, you see the Verrazano Bridge that goes down the Verrazano Strait. Right through that is the Atlantic Ocean. And once you get past that and kind of whip around a little bit to the left, you're gonna see Coney Island. And if you whip around a little bit more to the left, you're gonna see Breezy Point. And that's where I uh, have fished a couple of times here on the channel. So. Uh, that's one of the great things about living here in New York City is that you have a lot of opportunity to have access to the water. And uh, you know, for people who live here or even where you live, it's important to take advantage of it. And we got a bite, guys. We got a bite. Oh, uh, shucks. No, 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 I'm hooked up. I'm dang snagged on the, ah! Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Help. 
Okay, okay, okay. What do we have here? Oh, he came off. Whoa. He came off. Oh. Yo, pretty, that was good. good. That was a decent one, guys. Oh, he came off. I wonder which side he hit on. Ah. Ah. He hit, he hit on the clam. He hit on the clam. He hit on the clam. Because I had two on here. He hit on the clam for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he hit on the clam. I had two on here, guys. All right, that's good to know. The dog on the fence got me, man. The fence played the fence. The fence played the fence. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Enough. <laughs> Let's go. Let's pitch it. Pitch it right in between those two pilings. Let me make sure my line isn't tight. I am like so paranoid about that now, guys. Yeah, yeah. I don't want the... I got caught here in the fence. That's not going to happen again, though. Oh, you got a bite! You got a bite! You got a bite, buddy! You got a bite and he got hung up again on these damn things! Ugh. Got him! Come on, come get him! And the dang fence got you too! Yeah. Oh, no, no! You, you got one, Bubba! Oh, that's sharp. Yeah, a, uh, it's a um, dogfish. Yeah. It's a nice sized dogfish. Ugh. All right, can you grab it? Almost. Yep. It's kind of like your Sharks in the Hudson video, huh? I know. <laughs> I know the Shark in the Hudson. Yeah. I got a D-hooker. Yeah, good catch. There is Shucks. If you guys want some fish and chips, I got a uh, D-hooker here for you. Sorry, buddy. There we go. Good job. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He'll, uh, he'll live, though. Yeah, he'll live. He'll live. Nice. It's for your thumbnail, bro. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a little bit larger. Yeah. Than, uh, and I'm surprised. Here, it's so shallow. That's why. Yep, swam away. Well, he's right here on the rock. He's chilling, 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 and he found his way. What was that one caught on? Uh, Sandworm again, or? No, wait, it was on the, wait, what was on the bottom? No, it was my, oh yeah, it was the sandworm. Sandworm, okay. Awesome, man. Nice catch. I'm definitely gonna have a lot of food. Oh, oh! <laughs> it almost tilted over! Please still be on! He's still on? No. Yes, yes, he is. Yeah. Yes! What the heck? That thing barreled over, guys. Oh, it I barreled can't... over. <laughs> what is this? Alright, we're about to find out. It's just dead. It's dead weight on it. I mean, it'll like do a spate of fighting. Yeah. And then it'll just be dead weight. And then it'll fight, 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 and then it'll just be dead weight. What do we got? What do we have? Another shark. Yeah. Another shark on the sandworm again, right? I don't know. And it's also twisted on my line. Yeah. Let me get some uh, some scissors and stuff. Yeah. Get him out of here. There we go. My surgery kit. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I got him you got him out? Huh? Okay. I pitch it a little farther. Uh, try to get a little bit deeper this time. That's fine. Oh, here we go. Got him, coach. Got him, got him coach. Tighten up. Let's see what we got here. I don't think this is a dogfish, guys. It feels hopefully not. Nice. I don't think so. He's pulling. Yeah. Go, baby. Let's go. What do we got here? Oh, he eased up and it's coming in a little easily. Maybe a doggy. Let's see. Uh, it is. Hey, Porgy! That's a nice Porgy! Oh. Dang, dude! Ooh, that's, that's dude, these are the kind, the size that my mom was snapping up on our last video. Man, I'm gonna release it, but this is a good eating size that's Porgy, guys. Let's bring him over. Dude, you are beautiful, bro. I'm not even gonna touch you because I don't. I know I'm not gonna keep you, so I'm gonna try to get you off. Um. 
Yeah, man. Took, took it on the clam, dude. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Right. And good release. He's gone. Good release. He, he'll get out of there. Clams, dude. On the clams. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a huge. Yep, he's gone. Oh, Perfect. Oh. That was a good tool, a good pool. <laughs> Dude, if we, this is all catch and release here at Governor's Island. Uh, if it was not catch and release, I would have had my cooler. We would have had some fish sticks tonight. All right, we got a, got a little slam going on here. We got a tog. We got a, yeah, we had tog, some dogfish, porgy, I mean. And who knows what, the other one was probably a porgy too. I mean, this is kind of, especially their habitat, like right in here. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's, but, there's gotta be togs in there too. Yeah. Now that I think about it, I may try to take that four, the four o'clock one back because mine was originally four to three. All right, cool, man. I'm gonna start getting tidied up. I got these. Two. All right, and that is it. Listen, I had a wonderful time out on Governor's Island with my boy Fish and Y. Hey, after you subscribe to this channel, go check out Fish and Y's channel. Subscribe to his channel. Look, he's making some great content over there. And hey, if you like this type of content, be sure to hit that like button here as well. All right, I'll see you guys next time on another episode of Sovereign. Baby.